lesson, we will be discussing Solving quadratic equations by extracting the square root At the end of this video, you should be able to solve quadratic equations by extracting square roots So these are perfect square numbers. To get the square of a number, just multiply the number by itself. So 1 squared is equal to 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 2 squared is equal to 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. 4 squared is equal to 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So we have other perfect square numbers such as 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, 225, 256, 289, 324, 361, and 400. You have to familiarize yourself with these numbers because we will be using this in our lesson. So the first 20 perfect square numbers are the square of the first 20 positive integers. What if we're going to look for the square of a negative integer? For example, the square of negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1. So the square of 1, positive 1, and the square of negative 1 are the same. They are both equal to 1. The square of negative 2 is... Negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to positive 4. Square of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to 9, and so on and so forth. So this is the symbol for square root. What if you are asked to find square root of 9? To get the square root, of a number, think of a number that when you multiply by itself, the result is 9. That is positive 3 and negative 3. So therefore, the square root of 9 is positive and negative 3. How about the square root of 225? Square root of 225 is equal to positive and negative 15. Square root of 20. 20 is not a perfect square number. So for us to get square root of 20, we need to think of two numbers that when we multiply, the result is 20. Make sure that one of these two numbers is a perfect square number. So the factors of 20 are 4 and 5. We're in 4 is the perfect square number. And the square root of 4 is positive and negative 2. And all you have to do is to copy square root of so therefore, square root of 20 is equal to positive and negative 2 square root of 5. 
How about if you are asked to find square root of x squared? We need to apply the law of exponents. So we could rewrite this as x raised to 2 over 2, which is equal to x. So therefore, when we are asked to find square root of x squared, the answer is x. Squared will be cancelled out and also the square root. Now let's proceed with our discussion. The method of solving the quadratic equation x squared equals k is called extracting square roots. Example number 1. Find the solutions of the equation x squared minus 16 equals 0 by extracting square roots. So x squared minus 16 equals 0 is the given. We need to write it in the form x squared equals k. So we need to transpose the constant term negative 16. And again, when we transpose a number, if it is negative, it will become positive. So therefore, the equation will be x squared equals 16. Next is we need to extract the square root. And the square root of 16 is positive and negative 4. Example number 2. Find the solutions of the equation 4x squared minus 100 equals 0 by extracting square roots. So we need to transpose the constant term negative 100. So it will become 4x squared equals 100. Since the value of a is not equal to 1, we need to divide both sides by the value of a which is 4. So we have 4x squared divided by 4 is equal to 100 divided by 4. And when we simplify that, we have x squared equals 25. And then we can now extract the square root. So the square root of 25 is positive negative 5. Next, example number 3. Find the solutions of the equation 9x squared minus 169 equals 0 by extracting square roots. That is the given. We need to transpose the constant term negative 169. So the equation will be 9x squared equals 169. Divide both sides by the value of a which is 9. 9x squared divided by 9 is equal to 169 divided by 9. The result will be x squared equals 169 over 9. We can now extract the square root. Square root of 169 over 9 is, first is to get the square root of 169. Square root of 169 is positive negative 13. And the square root of 9 is positive negative 3. Therefore, x is equal to positive negative 13 over 3. Next, example number 4. Find the solutions of the equation x squared minus 200 equals 0 by extracting square roots. So that is the given. Transpose the constant term negative 200. We have x squared equals 200. Extract the square root. And 200 is not a perfect square number. So you have to think of two numbers that when you multiply, the result is 200. Make sure that one of these numbers is a perfect square number. So we have square root of 100 times 2. And the perfect square number here is 100. Get the square root of 100. The answer will be x is equal to positive negative 10 square root of 2. Just copy square root of 2. 
Next, example number 5. Find the solutions of the equation square of x plus 5 minus 64 equals 0 by extracting square roots. So in this example, it is not in the form x squared minus k is equal to 0. But we have here square of binomial, a constant term. So meaning, we could also use extracting square roots in this form. If we have square of binomial and a constant term. So that is the given. Transpose the constant term negative 64. So equation will be x square of x plus 5 is equal to 64. And then we can now extract the square root. So we could cancel the square here and the square root. And then get the square root of 64. We will be having x plus 5 is equal to positive negative 8. And then we're going to create two equations out of this equation. So we're going to separate the positive 8 and the negative 8. So let's start with positive 8. So x plus 5 is equal to 8. Transpose positive 5. So we have x is equal to 8 minus 5. Simplify x is equal to 3. So after we solve if we have positive 8, next is if 8 is negative. So, x plus 5 is equal to negative 8. Transpose again positive 5. We have x is equal to negative 8 minus 5. Negative 8 minus 5 is negative 13. So, the solutions to this equation are x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 13. Example 6. Find the solutions of the equation. The quantity 2x plus 3 squared minus 121 equals 0 by extracting square roots. Transpose the constant term negative 121. So the, the quantity of 2x plus 3 squared is equal to 121. Extract the square roots. Cancel square and the square root and get the square root of 121. So we have 2x plus 3 is equal to positive negative 11. And then we're going to have two equations wherein one is positive 11 and then the other one will be negative 11. So let's start with the positive 11. So the equation is 2x plus 3 is equal to 11. Transpose positive 3, so the equation is 2x is equal to 11 minus 3. Simplify, so 2x is equal to 8. Divide both sides by 2. So we have 2x divided by 2 equals 8 divided by 2. Cancel 2 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. The other equation will be 2x plus 3 equals negative 11. Do the same. Transpose positive 3. We have 2x equals negative 11 minus 3. Simplify. 2x is equal to negative 14. Divide both sides by 2. Negative 14 divided by 2 is equal to negative 7. Therefore, the solutions are x is equal to 4 or x is equal to negative 7.